sorry. My cam my tripod is still broken. I haven't like got around to getting a new one and it just like oh, hold on. Yeah, it just like fully collapsed and my DSLR just slammed into my knee, so on top of my broken rib. I have a very sore knee, <laughs> but um, I'm here today with a huge haul from Dresslink and um, I'm really excited to do this. They contacted me and asked if I would um, like to work with them stuff and I had to look through the website and I was like, yes, yes, I'd like to work with you because there's actually a lot, a lot of stuff on there that I really liked and even the same sort of stuff that I'd had in my eBay watch list for like ever and like never really got around to buying and I was like, sweet. So um, I was really excited to work with them and I got a lot of really good stuff and I can't wait to show you. So let's start. Everything came in these nice little sort of prepackaged bags to keep everything nice and neat, which I actually really loved because it means I've kept all this organized because I got this through just before Christmas or sometime around Christmas and obviously then I was way too busy to do this. So I've managed to keep everything nice and separated and organized so I could do this haul. And I've actually kind of forgot everything that I got because it's been a while now, so it'll kind of be like Christmas all over again and put everything up. Um, I don't really know where I want to start. Uh, I don't know what this is, so we'll start with this. So, now I'm not gonna be trying everything on myself today because also my rib still hurts and getting dressed and undressed and dressed and undressed over and over and over again will murder me, but I actually picked up a mannequin on like super sale, so like you know dressmakers type of like dummy mannequin type thing and it was like on mega sale so I grabbed that the first time I got so I have something I can put clothes on now for this so I don't have to murder my rib in the process. So let's see what this is. What is this? Oh okay so this is like a roughly sort of satin shirt. Um, it's not buttoned up but you can see there and obviously you'll see everything much better when I put it on the mannequin. But yes, yeah, so that's what this is like. Um, it is very nice. The buttons are kind of like, obviously not diamond, but you know, they have a diamondy effect. They just look white kind of because they're reflecting the light there, but it is cut like sort of to look like, you know, gemish. And it has this high ruffled collar and then the ruffles down the middle. And then it has a little ribbon to tie up the neck with. And this is lovely. It's very soft. I definitely like it. Yep, that loosens up. So yeah, I'm definitely happy with this. Okay guys, I actually thought this was like one of the prettiest things, but I do have a huge sort of complaint with this. Um, this is meant to be a size large, like it is an Asian large, but even still I checked it and it should be of a sensible size, but this literally won't even close on my mannequin. And my mannequin is like really small, I think it's like a size 6 or something. So this particular item does not seem true to size at all which is a real shame because I love this but I very much doubt that it's going to fit me at least until I lose weight so I'd be careful with that like the quality and stuff's good but the sizing is way off. I have no idea what this is either. <laughs> there we go. Oh right so this is just like a little sort of tutu thing I bought just to wear under my um, skirts because there's quite a few skirts I like but I like them to have a bit more poof. So it's not like a full on petticoat right? like you couldn't wear it with Lolita but just for some cute little skirts I have it would add a little bit extra sort of structure. So I don't intend on wearing this alone but you could if you wanted I guess. Oh this is like a really cute little sort of lace bodysuit thing. Now I don't know if I can put this on the mannequin because, oh no, well maybe, kind of, possibly. <laughs> but it's like, it kind of like just fastens down in the crotch and literally the reason I got this was because I wanted something literally to wear under this top because it's like a poncho so when you lift your arms this comes up so you kind of need to wear something under it but every time I try to put a t-shirt or something under it, it like it rides up which drives me crazy so this is like a nice lacy thing that I can pop underneath it and because it's like a bodysuit that's like you know fastened down around your crotch then it can't ride up so I'll finally have something nice and form-fitting and lacy to wear under this so that is perfect for what I wanted and it's really pretty it's like good sturdy material as well feels like it'll actually suck you in a bit so <laughs> that's good so I like that this is kind of similar to the black ruffly shirt I just showed you. Um, yes, but instead of having like the sort of ruffles down the front, it's just, it's a straight button down, but then you tie, this looks very red on the camera. It's a darker red in person. Um, it's just my light is making it like bam. <laughs> but then you, t you tie this into a bow around the neck and I just got this to wear like under some black dresses and stuff because I'm really into dark reds at the minute. I just thought this is really nice and um, it looked great in the pictures and I definitely, it's, again, it's very, very soft. Um, I will pop it on the mannequin so you can see. Okay, so I've got a bunch of these really cool little tank tops that I can't wait to show you. Um, they come in t-shirt form as well and 
like I don't really like to wear t-shirts but the prints were so cool that I was almost going to get them but then I found that they came in the tank top version instead and I was like yes because I far prefer tank, tank tops to t-shirts like t-shirts just don't look good on me um I've already actually worn this one I just kind of put it back in the bag but I really want to try it on so I didn't realize actually what material these were going to be I thought they were like cotton but it does say on the website what material they are I just didn't look at that but um they're kind of like a like swimsuity material like I think it's spandex or something but this is the first one and it's like white with a black skeleton on it and it's so cool. Um, I thought I was really going to hate the spandex after it because it was after I ordered but before I received it that I realised they were spandex and I thought I was going to hate it but it's actually really comfy, it, stay, it sits well and um, it looks good so I'm not actually too bothered. It turned out a lot better than I thought basically so I'm definitely happy so that's one of them. Now, I don't think this one's actually a tank top, I think this is a swimsuit that I got so that I have something cool to wear in the gym. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is, it is. For a second I thought it really was a tank top and I was like, oh. Um, yeah, so I got the normal black with white skeleton fucking <laughs> uh, swimsuit as well. Because at the minute all I really have is bikinis and A, I'm not hugely body confident at the minute so I really don't want to be hanging around in a, in a bleh. Sorry, um, I'm not hugely body confident so I don't want to be wearing bikinis and also like my gym has like, you know, a swimming pool and stuff but everyone there is very serious. And like, you know, they wear serious swimming suits and I feel like a real tit going in like a little bikini. So this isn't a serious swimsuit, but it's cool and I don't care. So this is, it's a nice compromise, I think. I love it. I can't wait to try it on. This one is this really cool, like, bird cage, fuck it, <laughs> bird cage print. I just thought that was so, so nice. It has a wee bird in it and um, I just thought it was a really, really cool print. So I got that one. And then I think my favourite print would be... Out. Oh, like it all. And I think my favourite print would be this one, which is this really cool sort of Alice in Wonderland stuff. <laughs> Hold on. Alice in Wonderland style, like white rabbit with red eyes and stuff, and it has the t like stopwatch up here and everything, and I just thought this was amazing, so I had to get it. And because of the material of these, it'd actually be really good for the gym as well, because I suppose they'd help with like sweat and stuff, because it is the stuff workout gear is made of. But um, yeah, I just thought these were really, really cool. So I ordered a bunch of them. They're like, what, $2 each or something? They were like really cheap. So I was like, yes. <laughs> oh, I did miss one. Okay, I knew, I thought there was another tank top. I thought maybe I forgot to ask for it. Okay, I found it out. So this is the last one of those cool little tank tops. And this one has this print on it so it's like two skeletons kissing with like roses and stuff around it and I thought that was really pretty and really cute so like I said I just got a bunch of these because I love the prints and they were really cheap so I was like having those. <laughs> uh, this I just kind of got to experiment with because so I wonder if you can hear me with that rattling. Um, I just got this to experiment with because I got a red shirt recently just because they didn't have it in white that I wanted and I ended up really liking it with the right outfit so I got this. And again, this will kind of solve my issue with things riding up. So it's just like a red shirt. It has black black buttons down it. But again, it like secures in the crop. It has like a little built-in sort of underwear type thing, which means it can't like ride up. Because things are also doing that with me. They just slowly throughout the day try to expose me. So I really like things that are stuck like that. And I like the build of this shirt. So I don't really know what I'm going to wear it with yet, but I got it as an experiment and I'm going to try to think of something fun. This was actually meant to be black and they did, it was out of stock and they just they sent me this one and they kind of sent me an email when they'd already sent like oh it was out of stock and black so we sent you white which i'm sure they wouldn't do if you like ordered but because it was a sponsorship thing they did i was kind of like, mm, white but when it ar arrived i actually thought it looked really nice so i'm not too bothered i'm really so i just realized if you can't hear me over all this rattling it's gonna be a nightmare but um this is actually really nice i don't know how much detail you can see and um, i'll be showing it on the mannequin as you know, always, but it has like this lovely lace and these little pearls and stuff. And it's actually really pretty. So maybe under like a black high-waisted something or other with like straps or something, this could actually look really cute. So I don't actually mind anymore that this is sent in white. Um, so yeah, I really like the lace. It's very pretty. This is a nice high-waisted skirt. I actually have this in another size, but I bought it like ages and ages ago in a size that was just kind of too small, especially because it's working on Asian sizes and it fit, but it was really uncomfortable. So I bought this in a more sensible size and it has this cute little high waist with the buttons and it's just like a sort of little flared skirt like this and it's super, super cute. So I'm excited to wear that. And the last thing I got is this really cool um, 
jumper thing. Let me get it out before I speak again. Okay. Okay, so it actually comes in two pieces. I thought they were sewn together from the picture, but it's two pieces. So you've got this sort of like black sheer vest with a sort of shirt collar on it like that. So I guess if you wanted, you could wear that on its own with like something cool underneath or whatever. And then the other part to it is... Ooh, where do we go? This jumper. Now it's one of those ones where it has buttons on the back. So these actually go at the back and then this is the front and also you'd have the black collar sticking out here. And the detail I really love is it has like elbow pads, but the elbow pads are cool little skulls. How cute is that? So I'm really, really excited to try this on stuff. And it's nice, like I thought, I was worried it'd be too small because I get a lot of Asian things and they're really, really short on me because I'm so tall. But this actually seems like it'll fit perfectly and I really, really like it. Um, my phone, where is my phone? Yeah, so I really, really like this. I'm excited to wear this. It actually seems really, really comfy and warm. So yeah, I'm definitely having this. Oh, there's one more thing I forgot, sorry, because it's something I've been using a lot, hold on. And there we go. The last thing that I got was this set of makeup brushes. So it's just five eyeshadow makeup brushes. And um, I just got these because I was like, yeah, why not? Might as well try them. And they're very, very cheap. So I wasn't expect... Sorry, the last thing that I got was these makeup brushes. And I just kind of got these because I was like, yeah, why not? I need new makeup brushes. I might as well try something. Now these were very, very cheap. So I really wasn't expecting much from these. I expect them to be all like, you know, hairs falling out and rough and crap. These are so soft and like good quality, like not, ooh, eyeshadow on that one. Not like there's no hair shedding, because I've got like cheap brushes before and the hair is literally just pulled out of them, fell all over the place. It was a nightmare, but these are so good. Seriously, like they're so soft. Like I have an Illamasqua eyeshadow brush and these are like softer than that is. So I'm really, really happy with these. Um, I'm probably gonna actually get more brushes in the future from like face ones and everything. This is just an experiment, but I'm really, really happy with these, so definitely rec recommend them if you need some makeup brushes and you don't want to spend a ton. So that was my uh, dress link haul. I am really really happy with everything I got from them. Um, I haven't really got any complaints on quality so far. Uh, and I was a little, I'd prefer those vests if they were in a t-shirt material instead of a spandex but the spandex works much better than I thought it would so yeah, I'm happy with everything. Um, I definitely get from them again. I really, really enjoyed working with them. They're really friendly. And I definitely recommend them. There's a lot of cool stuff on there. Uh, this is just some of the stuff that I found that I liked. Um, it's definitely worth having a hunt through and seeing if you can see anything that you'd wear yourself. Like I said, you can get really, really great goth clothing from like mainstream websites. You just have to have a really good hunt through everything and just think about what you could pair it with that would take it from just being like, you know, a normal piece of clothing into a really cool goth outfit. So um, that's what I've done here. I've just got a bunch of fun stuff that I can pair with my other stuff and um, I can't wait to wear some of it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I hope you check out Dresslink. Um, let me know if you've ever got from before. I know a few of you have um, said that you have and you've loved it. Remember to stay to the end of the video for some links and check the description box down below for some more links and I'll see you in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.